there was the press conference afterwards and none of the owners would really talk to us beforehand uh, about what happened inside these uh, closed closed door meetings. And let's settle it once and for all with Key Arena. There is a $300 million proposal out there. Is that a significant proposal and something that could solve the problem? Actually, there's no proposal out there right now. And I don't think you would mean to misrepresent that to me, would you? The City of Seattle believes that this $300 million Key Arena proposal, if it was funded, would be good enough to house an NBA team going forward in the future. Would Key Arena, if that proposal ever finds the funding for it, it's been talked about for several years, but would it be something that would be viable? I'm not going to talk about how many angels you could fit upon the head of a pin, because this is a perpetual subject that gets discussed and discussed and discussed, and nothing ever gets done. It hasn't been done. Over the last week or so, there's been several emails that have come out, including a lengthy email exchange between you and Mr. Bennett, and emails between Mr. Bennett and his My future. response, as I've been reminded, wasn't lengthy at all. When I went into this room, I wasn't planning on having any sort of adversarial or confrontational questioning with David Stern. I thought that they were questions that uh, a lot of people had wanted answered for several months at that point. Live or not, I don't like to be interrupted, and I'm not going to interrupt you. So why don't we just go to the next question? He was representing certain economic interests that exist in that room, and the owners wanting to move. If you're stuck.